So I took the bolt off that's right here. Um, and as I was saying, those are the two lines that have to be disconnected now. I'm going to leave that one on because it runs over to the purge, oh, sorry, the uh, vent solenoid on this side. I disconnected the wiring to it, so the wiring is off. I just wanted to show you this clip is attached to the canister. Over here on this side, I'm going to pull with my hand. I'm going to pull this thing this way. And you'll see it's just a male and female uh, thing that pulls it in there. There's two. So uh, when I pull this thing, this whole thing is sliding and it's ready to come out. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I could get that bolt out, um, the 13 millimeter bolt come out before uh, undoing these lines because if it's not coming out easily then taking the lines off is a little futile as you can see spare tire is still in there doesn't seem necessary to take the time to do that I'm just laying on a cardboard sheet underneath the vehicle it's not even jacked up and uh, so now I'm going to put on my eye goggles and uh, try and disconnect those white clips up there. Pressing my hands on, there's two on each, two on the upper side and the bottom side. There's that white clip up there in there. And my other ones I've been able to push with strong pressure with my hands and pull it off. Uh, gently um, and when I put them back on I think I'm gonna try and put some moisture around the uh, fitting to try and lubricate it a little bit um, okay so I'm gonna pull this thing down I'm trying to fix a P0446 vent solenoid control uh, code I'm not able to fill up my gas tank without it clicking off constantly so the air is rising up the vent pipe, or sorry, the gas is rising up the vent pipe, uh, the filler neck, sorry, of the uh, vehicle, and then the gas pump shuts it off. The sensor in the fuel nozzle of the gas pump is made to sense the gas rising up to the top where it's not supposed to be, and will shut off the gas pump. Um, at the uh, gas station when I'm putting gas in. Um, yeah, so this electrical is disconnected. And uh, as long as I can slide this box up, when this is disconnected and over, and bring it down through this cavity, which seems to be no problem, then I'm gonna take it out. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna um, see about restriction of air if, if there's um if this is clogged inside or not i don't know i'm gonna try and put some compressed air into the thing i believe i'll do my first analysis first on mine i know that the vent solenoid is actually clicking on and off because i have a um a uh, scanner which i'm able to do an evap um test with it so it tries to close vents and start a vacuum process and uh or at least it tries to close the vents anyways and so i could hear the clicking sound from the vap solenoid uh, uh vent solenoid which is over here i heard it go click click so i know there's power there anyway so i'm not even going to test for power um and uh We'll take it from there. Anyways, I hope this helps. That's a 13 millimeter nut right there, which is accessible just by taking a simple, was it eight inches long or something like that? Uh, socket wrench and putting it up here. Um, all right. 
the rest of this 